Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are preparing for the IMAT 2025, you are in the right place. In this video, we are breaking down the entire syllabus, scoring system, question distribution, and what topics you need to master to succeed this year. So let's dive right in. The IMAT is a 100 minute exam with 60 multiple choice questions, each with five answer options, and only one of them is correct. And the test is completely in English, so your language skills matter. Here's how the questions are distributed. So if you can see the chart on the screen, you will have four questions from reading and general knowledge, five questions from logical reasoning, 23 questions from biology, 15 questions from chemistry, and 13 questions from physics and mathematics. That means over 60% of the exam is science-based. So your biology and chemistry preparation needs to be solid. And let's talk about scoring. This part is important. Correct answers will score you plus 1.5 and incorrect answers will get you negative 0.4. Blank, if you leave a question blank, you get zero points for it. Maximum score that you can achieve is of 90. Now here's a twist. If you are from the EU, or a non-EU student living in Italy, you need to score at least 20 points to appear in the ranking. But if you are a non-EU student living abroad, any positive score will get you in the ranking list. In case of a tie, rankings are decided based on the performance in this exact order. So you have biology, they look at the score, um, they look at your biology score first, and then you have chemistry, then they look at your physics score, then maths, then logical reasoning, then problem solving, then reading skills, and general knowledge at the end. If all of these lead to a tie as well, then they look at the language certificate, and then they look at the disability status. And again, if all of these leads to a tie as well, then they finally look at your age. The younger candidate is ranked higher. So yeah, just keep this in mind. Now let's break down the syllabus for each subject. I will summarize the key points so you know exactly what to study. So for reading skills and general knowledge from which you will have four questions, understanding of English text, uh, text is very important. Non-fiction, fiction, newspaper, whatever you can get. And then you have skill tested in vocabulary, coherence, inference and orientation in time and space, understanding of institutions, economics, laws and citizens. Now let's talk about logical reasoning and problem solving which will have five questions. Now here they will test you on the grounds of pattern recognition, deductive and inductive logic and problem scenarios involving symbols, words and argument. Now this is for reading skills, general knowledge, logical reasoning and problem solving. If you look into biology, it consists of 23 questions. Syllabus mostly covers organic molecules and enzymes, and you have cell structure, prokaryotes, eukaryotes, viruses. You also really need to know about cell cycle, mitosis, and meiosis. And I believe that genetics, Mendelian molecular human genetics is very important for the exam. You also need to really know uh, DNA replication, protein synthesis, and mutations. Uh, questions can be asked from there. And then you need to the syllabus covers evolution, biotechnology, human anatomy and physiology, and of course, bioenergetic and energy processes like photosynthesis and respiration. Chemistry consists of 15 questions and the syllabus includes states of matter, and then atomic structure, periodic table. You also need to know chemical bonding, basically ionic bond, covalent bond and metallic bond, hybridization and those stuffs. And then, of course, about inorganic compounds such as acids, bases, and salts. Stoichiometry and mole calculation are one of the most common questions that you will see in the exam. Solutions and solubility, also talking about equilibrium, reaction types, redox, pH, buffers, you need to know all of these. From the organic chemistry part, you need to know the nomenclature and sometimes a little bit of isomerism. So, Yes, that would be it for chemistry. Now, moving on to mathematics and physics. So, 
Mathematics and physics consists of 13 questions in total. Part of 13 questions is mathematics and the rest will be physics. So the topics included in the mathematics section, it's not that advanced, but you do need to practice it. The topics include like topics like numbers, sets, algebra, equations, inequalities, functions and their properties, geometry, triangles, circles, conic sections, trigonometry, sine, cosine, tangent, and probability and statistics. In fact, probability and statistics, um, you have a higher chance of seeing them and these topics have uh, the most commonly asked questions sometimes. Now, talking about physics, which consists a part of these 13 questions asked, the key areas on which they are going to test you would be physical quantities, units, kinematics and dynamics, you know, like the mechanics part, then energy, work, momentum, fluid mechanics, thermodynamics, electricity in general, uh, Ohm's law, circuit diagrams, capacitors, and then they can also test you on the grounds of electrostatistics, where they talk about Coulomb's law, and then, of course, the electromagnetic induction and magnetic effect of current. So basically that's it for physics here are some final tips that would help you maximize your score in imat 2025 start early with biology and chemistry but don't ignore logical reasoning those five questions can boost your score a lot and can be the difference maker practice reading scientific articles in english it will help you both with language and comprehension skills use official past papers and mock exams to basically time yourself work on negative marking strategy don't guess randomly if you don't know a question it's best to drop it and finally remember that strategy and syllabus mastery are both key so balance both smartly it's not just focusing on strategy you still need to study and cover the syllabus so that you can answer the questions that's it for the complete imat 2025 syllabus breakdown if you found this helpful give it a like drop a comment if you have any questions i will try to answer them and don't forget to subscribe for more exam tips, mock questions and study guides. Now, me and my team have planned to start a rapid course for IMAT starting from July 20th, which will last for one whole month and it will be fairly affordable. If you are interested in joining this preparatory course, which will help you boost your score, feel free to contact us on through our email or on our Instagram. Links will be in description. Thank you for watching and best of luck with your IMAT preparation.